Like I've turned down some stuff that like with the off the money offer was insane. Right. But I was like, eh. now you can oh. be selective. I've been, what, I, I been, but now? I've been I've been selective though. That's what yeah. I've been doing. I've been selective when I wasn't supposed to be selective. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're supposed to just take like no, I've been like and I, that's how I am now. It's so funny because now I think I, my friend, I, I know people think I'm just, because I have so many movies coming out this year, people probably think I'm just saying yes to everything. But it's not. I'm really picky about that. And I wanted to make sure everything was different. And I'm I, I'm doing what I want. Like, Uncle Drew, I had to do that movie. I'm a basketball fan. It was like, why right. would I not do this movie? All right, right. we're white trash, so we need to know the biggest offer that you turned down. I'm mm-hmm. not going to tell you that. Come on. You <laughs> nah. can share that with us. Nope. nope. So you won't tell I'm us? from Chicago. I don't want nobody to know how much I'm really getting. <laughs> so you won't tell us how much you made on the back end of Get Out? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I bet it was substantial. Well, he's turning stuff down. He's got money. Yeah. I'm doing okay, man. I know you are. <laughs> I pay child support. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's, that's a big chunk of it. Yeah, I'm just, uh, hey, I'm taking care of everybody. I'm, I'm doing okay. Just know he can't so, leave his uh, receipt in the ATM. That's all you need. Yeah, that's, 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 that's yeah. what he's saying. We were talking about that yesterday. Yeah. I was like, if I left this receipt here, so I was like, where is this guy? <laughs> the hell is oh, really? Dear oh, yeah. God. It'll get on Twitter somehow. You got oh, all this money God. in your checking account? I'm not. I don't. I'm not saying anything. Careful, man! What are you doing? I'm that. just a guy who like to wear jogger suits and, and buy a pair <laughs> of glasses everywhere. So I think it's fascinating that I can go anywhere now. I remember my first LA experience; it wasn't like that. But now I just be like, I don't even think they'd be knowing me. And I was pull up a story. I'm like, oh, all right. <laughs> Rel, Rel, I was waiting in line, but all right, cool, bro. When I was in LA, Rel, I went to um, I did the the whole you know Beverly Hills and Bel Air. Mm-hmm. And I found out where Jennifer Aniston lived. <laughs> and I just went to her house That's with, so with my family. So Jesus creepy. Christ. With my wife and kids in the back of the rental car. And then you and just we, parked I just, there? I parked out front of her gate for like 20 minutes. Wow. 20 minutes? Yeah, That's, That's so, That's so, so creepy. Your wife, that weird? Your wife was no, okay with this? Creepy. <laughs> she wanted to do it more than I did. <laughs> then tell them what you did with Lenny Dykstra. Oh, you know Lenny Dykstra? Yeah, Dykstra? remember Lenny I Dykstra? hung out with Lenny Dykstra for like eight hours. Just got hammered with him. <laughs> dude, dude is nuts. All he, wanted, all he wanted to do was get on Backpage and look for hookers. That's all he wanted to do. See, that's why they didn't shut, they didn't shut Backpage down because of that. Yeah. Oh, he's Did bitter. you see that? No, I didn't. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they, the oh, FBI yeah. What's, what's Lenny going to do? <laughs> I don't know. He's got to find a new site. I think, they took out, I think they took out the personals or whatever they were on Craigslist, too, they because did. of the same oh, wow. thing. The oh. FBI is shutting down. The hookers are distraught. Where are the hookers going to go? I guess you just. <laughs> Instagram, man. Instagram? Craigslist. <laughs> they like Cakes, Cakes, what are you going to do now? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm, I'm in quite a bind over here. <laughs> They're like, I guess we got to walk the streets again. <laughs> Back to the streets. Um, <laughs> how, how, how long had you known Jordan Peele? Um, I've known Jordan for a while now. Um, yeah. why, you know, when he was doing Key and Peele, I had a sketch series I was on with, with a, a couple of guys. We did a show called Friends of the People that was on True TV. So we was True TV's first scripted series. We was on that mm. for two seasons. But at the same time, he was doing Key Appeal. The first time me and Jordan met was at a comedy festival uh, in Montreal, the Just for Last Festival. And we just we was at a Funny or Die party, lit, just mm-hmm. talking. It was almost like that sketch that they do. Where they're like, like we were just talking crazy. Like, we was just... We was two dudes with glasses talking like gangsters for no reason. Right, right. <laughs> at a comedy party. <laughs> it was just weird. <laughs> But he's, he's hysterical. He, he was does so that. he was so cool, man. And he's he's a good he's legit a good dude. And I'm like happy to call him my friend now. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. Our history with Key and Peele was our producer behind this the glass. This is embarrassing. He by came the way. to us like I want to say this is eight or nine years ago. It was right, it was right before the Comedy Central show. Yeah, like blew pit, up. You know, yeah, pitching a guest. Hey, we've got this comedy duo. Their name is Key and Peele, and we're gonna book <laughs> them on the show. We're like Key and who? Who are these guys? <laughs> Why are we having them on the show? And now. Look at Key and Peele, the success those guys are having. We had no idea. We, had, we have no idea. Did it go so well or did it go poorly? No, I can't great. remember. I think it went it was, all, it was awesome. It was awesome because they were awesome. Because right. Key is just, you know, he's just hysterical. Are they still tight or they no? Still oh, okay. Yep. They're, both those guys are just killing it now. It's a great it's a great video of when Jordan wins the Oscar and Keegan's just losing it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I like some. I don't know what he was watching it at, but he's just losing his mind, man. Is, is, did you go to the Oscars? Yeah, I was there. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it was cool. Did you go to parties afterwards? Yeah, I went. So I went to the official governor's ball party thing, which was boring. <laughs> oh, that was so boring. And then I went to Jay Z and Beyonce's gold party. Oh, and that was lit. look at that! Yeah, look yeah. at that. Yeah. That Solid. was super lit. It was the, one of the best parties I've ever. We been to stood in my life. next to. We have a little. We Jay Z did a festival that we did here years ago, and we stood next to Beyonce on stage right when Jay Z was performing. 
That's maybe the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Like in the face, it's ridiculous. <laughs> she is. She is gorgeous. Man, but she's, she's gorgeous inside. It's so. It's it's actually cool now that I can like, because I've I I just hosted like the uh, uh, Beyonce's mom, the wearable gala thing, and right. mm-hmm. uh, which she made now. It was just I like I know them now. It's just like isn't that crazy? Yeah. Did you call Jay Z right now? I saw right Black now. Panther with him. Oh, you did. Yeah. yeah. I think Allison Williams is hot as balls. <laughs> She's so cool. She's so cool. I just love her. She's so like she her coolness makes her even more. Makes attractive. her hotter. Yeah. Yeah. She's you know so that cool. Solange, is that how you say her name? Solange. How do you say the Solange? Solange. Yeah. yeah. Solange. Is she cool or is she crazy? She's, no, she's not crazy. She's cool. Right. Yeah. She's real chill. So why was she beating up Jay Z in the elevator? <laughs> Hey man, look, man. They didn't put out lemonade and an album. Look, they both talk about it, man. Just listen to the music, man. Right. Yeah. 